pinch it up yeah okay and yes <laughs> what's up you guys my name is Lil Ho again and today i will be updating you guys on my experience with the 2020 mac mini so a couple months ago i did a unboxing video for my 2020 mac mini and i also did a desktop setup and a lot of you guys really liked that video and First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for those who watched it and really enjoyed my content through that. Thank you so much for liking the video and leaving your amazing comments on that video. I loved reading all of them and taking in your suggestions and what you guys want to see next from me. One of the things that was requested um, a few times on that video was to update you guys on my experience with my Mac Mini. I put together a list of pros and cons, so let's start with the pros. So just to start off, I am a college student currently. I'm in my third year right now. So one of the things that I primarily use my Mac Mini for is for school and for studying. So far, I've had zero issues with it when it comes to studying. It actually really helped um, boost my productivity because it's so much faster. I can do so many different tasks at the same time. So obviously right now, there's online schooling due to the pandemic. One of the applications that I have to use use regularly for my classes is Zoom. As far as exams go, um, my school uses Respondus, which is a lockdown browser, and that has been working perfectly well too. Something else that I also use my Mac Mini for, which is why I also mentioned in my last video, is that I video edit a lot, obviously for YouTube. I'm also currently a video content intern for my school's esports program. And so far, I've been using Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro and it's been working fine. Sometimes I'll have to use Photoshop or Lightroom and I've had zero corruption issues with like previous files and I'm able to edit smoothly. Final Cut Pro has been working amazingly well. When I skim through a video, it scrubs through super smoothly. When I render, it takes eight times the speed as it did before when I used my MacBook. Another thing that I really like um, so far is that when I export a video, it's super fast. I remember before when I would use my laptop, when I tried to export like a good 10 minute video, it would take around like 20 to 30 minutes to export. But now with this M1 chip, when I export a video, I've already tried out exporting an hour long video for work, for example. It only took like five to 10 minutes to export which is amazing and a really huge difference. When it comes to connecting my Mac Mini to devices like the webcam, the mic, really anything, it has no connection issues. So I really want to show you guys how well my webcam and my mic work. Obviously I'm using my Rode microphone right now and I'm really satisfied. The webcam is super clear. I really love using it, especially for cases when I need to do video calling or when I have to go to class online. Uh, this webcam works amazingly well. I highly recommend the Logitech webcam that I use and this Rode mic. So yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys how well both of these products work. I have no Bluetooth issues either. I haven't run into any problems where a Bluetooth device will like randomly just disconnect. One of the other things that I really hated about my old MacBook would be the fans within the computer. So my Mac would overheat even if I'm just browsing the internet. The fans start kicking in, it gets super super loud. And what I love about the M1 chip in the 2020 Mac Mini is that I never have to worry about loud fan noises or anything overheating. The chip is super silent and the fan actually never kicks in whenever I use it, even when I'm video editing, which is usually the time that it does do that on my laptop. And the last thing on my list of pros is that I feel like the cost was actually really affordable as opposed to getting a full-on iMac for like almost two grand. I got this Mac Mini with my whole setup that I chose for about 1200 and the Mac Mini itself is like around 700 to 800 dollars depending on whether you use a student discount or not. So I think that the price range is super affordable for how much you get out of it. So as far as cons go, I actually don't have a lot on my list. I'm not like advertising for Apple or anything. I actually generally don't have many issues at all with the Mac Mini. The only thing I would say is that 
there still might be some applications that aren't optimized for the M1 chip. On the Adobe website that I'm going to link below, they actually give out a really great list on what programs are optimized for the M1 chip and what aren't, and then they also have a list of suggestions of what you can do to work around it. So yeah, that's really it when it comes to the cons. Again, this is my own personal experience. Like I said before, I'm not a professional tech person. Um, I won't be able to tell you like the ins and outs of the M1 chip, but as an average daily user who's a student and also working as a video editor, this would be the cheapest, fastest Mac that you could buy in the market right now. This has been my experience with the 2020 M1 Mac Mini in the first almost three months. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you guys want me to do an update video, on the Mac Mini like maybe a year later. I would love to do that. So let me know down in the comments below if that's something you want to see from me. If I find anything else that I really want to share about the Mac Mini, I'll definitely make a video on it. But this is it for now. So thank you again for watching this video and I will see you